Hey like. guys, it's PCTV here, Comfort Vision, the day before Memorial Day, and it's my freaking birthday. What's up, guys? Happy and birthday, uh, Patrick. thank you, there, Rambo. Appreciate it, brother man. 61, baby. 61 and holding. Robert, how you doing, buddy? Good morning. Robert rode with me today. The Hemrod has a bad alternator. We hope. And uh, here's one bad 32 right here. So uh, yeah, let's just cruise around. So this one caught Robert's eye right away, the Apache. And of course, we both love the Brahma Bull on the side. Takes me back to my roots. Back when I was a farmer in Texas raising goats. Oh wait, no, that never happened. Um, I love hey, the Rick. upholstery in this thing. Dude, I know, isn't that bad? Look, Rick, hey, Rick just jumped on in time for an upholstery shot. There you go, buddy. There's your, uh, there's your interior shots you like. How you doing, man? Oop, I'm trying to get this thing to turn the way I want it to. There we go. There we go. Yeah, beautiful interior. Good call on that one, Robert. Also, paint's really clean. And I love the fact that it's a fleet side. And, you know, they, they have not been afraid to keep the flavor. It, it really, I mean, the truck they almost has a... They kept three on the tree. They kept the three on the tree. I mean, they really did keep the flavor of the truck. It's very original and just really, really well done. Beautiful truck. I bet you it's got a straight six in it. Yeah. Chevy Apache, baby. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we keep cruising. Ambo was around here a little while ago. Yeah, there's a rubber butt vet. This is a oh, TVR. Now, these are ones you don't see every day. Wood frame. Wow. If this is a TVR, yeah. If it's a TVR, it's a wood frame. It is a TVR? Yep. And I flipped the camera. <laughs> hey, good morning. From the UK. We got people coming. There you go, from the UK. And look what we have for you. TVR, right out of the gate for you guys. Gotta love that. Now, if I remember, I was just telling Robert, these are wood framed, if I remember correctly. No, Marcos is Wood oh, the Marcus yeah. were wood framed. Yeah. Okay, this is two frame. This yeah. is a two like, frame. Almost okay. like a Lotus, right down the middle. Gotcha. Oh, so it's like a backbone frame. Yes. Yeah, we did those when we built the uh, Modena cars for uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I was one of the guys oh, really? who built the cars really? for Ferris Bueller's. Really? Yeah, <laughs> the one that. Yeah, the one we took out the back. Of, yeah, yeah, we built two of them. We sold them to the to the film company uh, down in El Cajon, like back in 1988. That's where this car came from. Oh no way! No. Yeah, I used to work for California Exotics really? in in El Cajon, way but right out of college. I mean, literally, I was I was a college kid, and I was my I was sanding on the cars. Okay, so that was my extent of my involvement. I was a shop kid, okay, color sanding yeah, car. But you could take red. I touched them. I yeah. touched them. I can say I touched them. But yeah. <laughs> Beautiful car, I love it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, here's that uh, this big Cadillac. Yeah, the fleet side's pretty bad. This Cadillac has been around for quite a while. It's a really nice car. Hey, what's up, Fit? You know, El Camino to Impala, you get me all messed up, man. And speaking of a beautiful Elko, I like Fitz's. Here. They let anybody in here. Yeah. Yeah, Willie's just cruising around. Yeah, this is good, guys. All right, so uh, we're gonna keep walking. And how's your fine morning, sir? Doing a lot. Yeah, I like staring at the flowers better than the roots. You post that stuff pretty quick, huh? I try. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, I got. I put up four videos, five videos, in like one night. This <laughs> is like. I, I thought I would look like, oh, nah. <laughs> the rollout video came cool, came out cool because of that picture. I, thought I did that really cool picture, so the cover's really bitching on the rollout. Oh, yeah, right. But it was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, Thank you. Fun. I appreciate that. It's 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 a tough thing to do, and I, I never had any idea how difficult it really is to do. That's, that's what it looks like, huh? Yep. We're just cruising around, so we're going to go walk around. Pretty good turnout. It's an amazing turnout. There's Willie. What's up, brother man? Good, man. Thank you. 26, right? Yeah, 26 and holding. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so yeah, I'm just rolling around. Hey, there's Blair. What's up, Blair? That is a nice season. What's up? Yeah, we saw your fair lane. What's up, brother man? Where everybody's been losing the bet lately. That's, uh, on the list of one of the first ones that he did. No way. This Shelby right here? Gotta go look at that, I guess. The one with the, uh, with the Arizona plates on it? 
So this is one of the first documented. So this is supposedly an original, one of the very first Shelby's built. Amazing. I didn't look, I hadn't even chance to look at the wheels yet. Let me see what we have for the wheels. Oh, dude, look at those wheels. Those are crazy. Remember about what number it was? Wow. And look at this, man. This thing is perfection. Wow, dude, this is so correct. Here's the number here, you guys. Oh, yeah, that's, I just have to How many numbers? This thing you know, is when, just did you see, absolutely perfect. He came down to Derelicts, brought this, and an original AC. Really? He just bought an AC. Beautiful. <coughs> this looks like it would have come out of Myers collection. Peterson. Oh, this came out of the Peterson. It's a. It's one of the Peterson 200. Wow. Boy, we got a lot of the Surf City Classics guys here today. Good showing. Look at this GT over here, dude. We got Shelby's everywhere today. Yeah, that's C10 here. Take a look at this uh, white C10 over here, you guys. And he's a. Uh, Visualize yeah, I know my 71 in pieces <laughs> at home. It was my battery. Yeah, it was five years old, and it was just done. Yeah, this one's pretty nice. It's got U.S. Uh, mags on it, which is a name I haven't seen in years. And yeah, very clean uh, overall. Nice C10. Definitely like it. Okay, so let's keep cruising around. Everybody's here today. Sorry, I don't mean to be swinging around like a madman. All right. Another nice C10 here. Got a Rancho wagon. This is a 58, 59. These cars I don't know that well. God, this wagon's beautiful, dude. I love this. I love this. This is just gorgeous. If I'm not mistaken, what year is this? Is it 57? Oh, it's, yeah, it's, oh, it is? Mm -hmm. I think so. Cool. Yeah, I was That's guessing 58 or 59. I wasn't sure. I don't know these very well. This thing's gorgeous. Look if at I'm dude. not mistaken, this has a Hemi in it. Oh, man. I've seen... Uh, I've seen Thank you, Simon. 57 confirmed. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah, yeah, I don't know these. I don't know these wagons. Oh, 58 hood. That's what threw me off. Thank you. Cool. I love it when you have knowledgeable viewers. I really sure. appreciate that, sir. Someone. Yeah, he just told me. He's a, yeah, Simon just told me it's a '57. He goes, but it's got a '58 hood. So that's what was because the first thing I said was '58. As soon as I saw it, and I'm like, going, okay, that's what's going on. Thanks, bro. All right. So let's look at the back. I just this is gorgeous, man. I love these. I mean, yeah, you know, and me, too. I don't like Fords, and now I can't really say that anymore because how many Fords do I say now that I like? I've got it like at least ten Fords that I like now. Well, I sure do appreciate the input. Thanks, brother. This is a long bed here. It's a non-knee knocker, so it's going to be probably like a 64, maybe 65. All right, let's take a look over here. Of course, we got uh, our buddy's Fairlane here. This thing runs, and it is a rusty sucker. Yeah, I believe it did sell out because it was a such a good looking. It's such a good looking wagon. Yeah, here's the motor in this Fairlane right here. So I just figured, you know what? Better uh, safe than sorry. If the alternator's are knocking, you better stop driving. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember going across the desert at my 62 step side, the generator went out, the little upper pressure. Yeah. We found a gas station out in the middle of nowhere, and the guy had the generator working. That's oh, wow. funny. I remember when you used to be able to buy those things. <laughs> or we used to actually. dark, and we could use wipers or lights. We used to put brushes, we used to tape a pair of brushes like underneath the dashboard or throw them in the glove compartment, tape a pair of brushes. Yep, always had a spare set. I have a spare, I carry a spare distributor on the seat of my Volkswagen. Guys, look at this old. Oh, McLeary's here. Hey, thank you. 
<laughs> hey, great thing you put together yesterday. That was very cool. Those folks, I think they enjoyed it, yeah. but the food was really good, and I, and I like free beer. Yeah, free beer. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> hey, you couldn't ask for a better way to spend your birthday, right? Uh, yeah. You know, this is, the, this is the car show, and then we're going to go down to Cars and Brunch. <laughs> So, yeah, so I'm just keeping on walking. Walking, walking, walking. These boots are tennis were made for walking. Oh, I tell you what, <laughs> this is a lifesaver right here. Yeah, the knees. Oh, man. This is a whole name game changer for Yeah, we got some sexy legs here. There's one for the ladies. So yeah, boy, boy. Right Here's another nice cobra. Hey, morning, Stephanie. How are you? Good to see you. Happy Sunday, happy birthday to me. Shelby American. Got a control. This sucker's set up for track. Full cage. Five point harnesses. Of course, signed by uh, Mr. You know, Shelby. We got all the gears and pedals. Yeah, you're right, Rick. It is nice. It's uh, couldn't ask for better. I'm single this year and. I uh, am without a beloved spouse, and uh, it's a little different, but it's okay. So, anyway, this is a exceptional 350. I don't know if it's a clone or not. It looks very original. It looks like it's been campaigned. Very cool. There's a nice little three window. Don't know if it's a glasser or not, but it's pretty. Like the green. Looking here. Very nicely done interior, and uh, yeah, just really very, very clean, very, very well done. Just a Hemi guy. Nice flame job here. All right. Oh, look at this Chevy truck, you guys. This is original, original, original. Man, this is what you went and picked up. Look at the. Oh, dude. I love this. People always say when I say I, 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 I bleed bow tie blue and they go, it's Ford. And I'm like, you didn't bow tie, right. bow tie blue. Dude. Oh, car, look at this. Car of the show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you know, that's. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. That's a holy grail car right there. It absolutely is. Oh my God, an RT. What is All it, 69? All original barn find. This is an original barn find 69 RT, right? Or 68. Uh, I think it's a not 16. Sure of the year, but well, it's got black, black plates on it, so I'm hoping it's a I'm hoping it's a 69. Hemi head. No, it's that new arm, Rick. It's working really nice. I really like this thing, and uh, it's just been just smooth as glass. But yeah, this is a survivor car. This is a barn find right here. Really beautiful. This car is an original car, unmolested. You need to stick your head in and smell the originality. The original. Oh, it's. Hey, we were smelling that in the truck on the way here. It's got that original, you know, Mopar smell. Mopar plasticky <laughs> interior smell that it's unmistakable. I have this piece right here. I have this piece. Of, I have that piece in my garage. That piece. I, piece? I, yeah, I got that piece. And I've got the back, I've got the inner one too. Look at this dude, original paint. God. What a car, man. What a car. But this Chevy too, this pickup, I'm sorry, but this pickup is just out of control. You don't see these, especially like this all original and unmolested. I mean, this is a cargo hauler too. Beautiful, beautiful truck. But let's go back and look at this survivor car. You guys, look at this barn paint I mean almost completely rust-free car all original paint there we go like Robert said you got to stick your head in here hey I have that same coffee cup except yeah it's he has Memphis mine's the Vegas one but it's like I have the I have the Vegas version of that coffee cup that's so funny that was the last gift my late sister gave me yeah this thing's beautiful inside you guys let me get that smell
Oh, yeah. There it is. Look at that. We got ripped up that back seats. That old car smell. We got that old car smell. Sorry, guys. No smell of vision here on Facebook Live. Apologize for that. All right. So let's keep walking around. I'm going to go off here, and I'm probably going to go onto my YouTube feed here pretty quick. But I just want to at least get you guys some early morning stuff and show you what Rooftop's doing today. Oh, wow. Is Pilar here? I know. That's just that's exceptional, bro. I didn't even see her. Yeah, that's today we've just got just exceptional cars out here today. Look at this Ford. Now this is a coupe. This is still a coupe, right? No, look at this. A five. Oh, it's a no. I'm sorry. It's a five wheel yeah. sedan. Or no, it's a full blown sedan. Wow. That is barn fresh. Amazing car, huh, Rick? You just don't see those. Here's a nice series one fifty three truck. Yeah, this gimbal arm is smooth as glass. This is a, this one's so much better than the smooth arm, and it's it looks almost identical, and it just operates so much better than the smooth. There we go, nice 56. Oh, it looks like you got Halibrands on there, good old Sandcast. You know, the first set of Halibrands I ever bought, I was just like, what the heck did I just get? These things are garbage! And everybody's like, no, that's the way they're made. I'm like, really? Oh, dude, this guy's got an old TPI setup. That's my 358 is set up for a TPI. I got to pull the cam out of that 358 because it's got a TPI cam in it. Brand new Edelbrock cam, too, like a $300 cam back in 2000. But I'm not going TPI, so. All right, let's get back a look at this 56 here. Again, really pretty. Adjust it back over here. Yeah, she's a good one. All right, let's get an interior look over here. Super, super clean. Split bench, looks like all gray, dove gray leather interior. Again, just a real pretty one. Oh, thanks, Simon. I'm trying. I'm trying to get you a decent walk through here. This is the car, except it was a convertible that my neighbor across the street had. She had a convertible, this SS with the stripe and everything. I went away to college and I made her promise she'd sell me the car when I got back from college. I came back on a weekend, the car's not in the driveway. I go, where's the car? She goes, I sold it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was all about 25 at the time. I was like, no! Ah! And she sold it for like 3,200 bucks. I'm like, ah! <laughs> I didn't have 32, I didn't have two nickels rubbed together, but I would have found the money. Here's a really nice 57, you guys. <laughs> yeah, Robert's dude. Robert's an awesome guy, man. I, I love hanging out with Robert. He's one of my best buddies. Look at this 57. This one's another beautiful silver interior. Wow, look at this. It's silver. It's like a silver leather. I don't know if it's Naga hide or what they've got going on here, but it's blocked. The seats are very blocked. And it's got a it's got a billet steering wheel. So it's got kind of a 80s, excuse me, 80s. It's got kind of an early 2000s, 90s kind of restoration look to it. But this is an extremely, extremely clean example right here. Look at this thing, guys. Very, very nice. See, now that Robert doesn't cuss so much, he's gotten popular all of a sudden. It's amazing, Robert, how you've gotten, now people want to say hi to you. Rick says, hi, how you doing? Rick McAllister says, yeah, give Robert a fist bump for me. There you go. He goes, he goes, he always enjoys hanging out with you and likes uh, hearing you talk and stuff. So when you're not cussing. I'm so liking this one. I'm liking this one too. <laughs> I'm liking this one too. Yeah, that, that rear tent window is really nice, but that 57 is just, it's in dude, it's even got Craigers on it. Come on, man. This is the wheel. I was talking to Wesley Nielsen from Nostalgia Highway at Aces the other day, and he's been in the wheel industry forever. He says, this wheel was a mistake. This was an accident, and it was not supposed to go to production. And they took one look at it. They, they, they molded the wheel wrong, and it's an accident wheel, <laughs> the most wow. famous wheel. And they put the two wheels on the market, and that one outsold like six to one. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, wow. Yeah. It's an iconic wheel, but it's an accident. It was never supposed to even be made. It was just, it was, the, they, they cut the spokes wrong. Well, heck, I'm an accident, too. Well, yeah, I'm an accident, too. Hey, how you doing, Ken? Good to see you. I remember on Friday we were talking about Ken step Kirsten. size. Ken how's it on? Oh, she's doing fine. She's at home. She's oh, yeah. Well, so no, I know. She's, yeah. I'm she's down here checking everything out. The positive is good. I've got 
Oh, well, it's good to see. It's nice to see. It's starting to feel like the normal world again. Yeah, yeah. And I get to see my son in two weeks for the first time in almost two years. Yeah, so it's been a while. Because he's autistic, he's in a, he's in a state licensed facility. I'm, I was not allowed to even see him, physically see him. Yeah. Yeah, for almost two years. Same sort of situation. I haven't seen Davy in two years. Oh, it's crazy. I know. I think the last time I saw him. Another beautiful thing. saw your son was about the time you saw him. Probably, yeah. So Brian's excited. He can't wait to get him back out to the car shows. I can't wait to get him back out to the car shows. I'm sure he's going to be excited. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. Yeah. God, another beautiful 57. Look at this thing. Good to see you, Ken. Torque Thrust 2's on this one. Oh, no, uh, no Bel Air tagging. That's interesting. Got a caddy across the way here. All right, looks like we're kind of hitting the tail end. Oh, yeah. But we got to look at this galaxy, guys. I believe this is a 6.4. Yeah, is, I've got a galaxy. Um, this is my dad's car. I've got a galaxy. It's a Note 10. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't even have a galaxy. All I have is, a, <laughs> all I have is an iPhone 7. <laughs> A great car. I drove that car to high, when I was in high school. My dad had like three of these. He got two of them stolen, and then the third one he drove it till he sold it. But my, my father was really bad about leaving the keys in the cars and, and leaving them running at the store. <laughs> He'd just run in with it and leave the car running. And so he never understood why they got stolen. God, look at this interior, you guys. I used to pop my wife on the console there. <laughs> Back when we were just kids, you know. <laughs> yeah, I this is a beautiful car. And again, you know, I, I got to admit, I'm becoming a Ford guy more than... I think it was always we just used to tease each other in the house, you know. I think it was more... I never really hated Fords. I just think because I was a Chevy guy and my dad was a Ford guy, we just used to bust each other's balls all the time. You know, they say that 98% of Fords are still on the road. Well, I'll tell you what. The other 2% made it home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that one the other day. Yeah, this, this fair lane is just gorgeous. Oh, I think, nope, he's got the windows closed on this thing, so it's a little hard to see the interior. Yeah, this is like something my dad had one of these too. You know what he traded? You know what he traded this car in for? A 64 GTO. 64 and a half. He traded a 64 in for a 64 and a half GTO. All right, let's keep cruising. So uh, I think I'm about ready to shut this one down here. Let's uh, get over to the main part of the show. And I'm just gonna do a fast walkthrough so you guys can get a better look. There's that Series 1 again. That 53, sounding good. It's got a little TPI setup in it. There's that Ford Coupe again. And of course the Barnyard Find. The star of the show here. She's a beauty. Okay, there's that Chevy that I really, really like. Just straight up utility truck. Really sweet. All right. Now, that TPI setup. Hey, you know, ZR1, I mean, I'm, I like the new Vets a whole lot better. And of course, the classic, you know, the, the, the Duntovs and the Stingrays and all that. You know, those are, those are my Vets. Those are what I really like the best. But, but, you know, hey, it's still a Corvette. I just don't fit in these cars. All right, here's the Shelby again. Here's the uh, long bed C10. Okay, there's that Ranch Air Wagon. So let's get on some new stuff here, okay? So let's get on the 65 Impala over here. This first car I ever owned right here was a 65 Impala. That's a nice gold. It's a coupe. Of course, I didn't own a, own a coupe at 15 years old. I owned a, a four-door that my aunt gave me, and I think I spent $25 on a battery and five bucks on gas to get it home. But yeah, this looks just like the interior. Now, I've had a couple 65 two-doors since then. I had an SS 65. It was called 8-Ball, and I sold that to Osaka. Um, Sagawa's, actually, in Japan. He bought a couple cars from me, actually. He bought my Pro Street um, 56 pickup from me, too. And he also took 8-Ball off of me, off my hands. And then Dre bought my 64 um, convertible. Uh, Death Row Records bought my 64 from me in, like, 2001. 
And that's pretty much when I got out of the major part of the car industry. Here's another nice Buick, a 53. These always look like they're gonna take a bite out of you. It's like one of those angler fish. I think it should have an angler fish uh, hood ornament. Oh, nice Dan Alive, original Dan Alive shirt. Look at that, wow. Ryan got mine and stuck me with his old dilapidated one, but I still, still like it. All right, Steve's walking around. He's doing his cruise. Okay, oh, there's that red split window. I believe that's Tim's car. There's another, another Galaxy. Dude, a lot of Galaxies. There's Steve's truck. Hey, it'll take a piece out of you, man. What are you running the quarter mile? That's all I want to know. What is he running the quarter Zero mile? To yes. Zero to 60 eventually? Yes. Hey, that looks like Dave Silicon's truck. It is. Hey, he's around here somewhere. Somewhere. All right, look at this. We got a, we got, we got the wreckage row. Yep, that's. Wreckage row. <laughs> you and Embo together. What time do you guys get here? I got here at 5.30. Oh man, you're an animal. I woke up at 5.30. All right guys, so I'm gonna take the walk down the main row here. A little bit of a Corvette row going, they got going here. And uh, you can see how much Corvette row is right now. It's big, a lot of cars. Another nice Chevy. This one's for sale, if anybody's interested. There you go, 100% original, 46. How much cash you got? I think I got the phone number there for anybody who's interested. Here's the truck, all original. Very nice. This is one of those things that I just wish I had the extra cash just to have in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of looks funny without a box of donuts on the head. So he's got the Texaco sign on this thing. He's got the blanket interior. It's all original inside. Look at this sucker, man. She's a sweetie. I lost Robert because I just started walking. I just wandered off. Ah, look at that. He's used, he's used front doors for a tonneau cover, cabinet doors for a tonneau cover. That's interesting. All right, here's the back of it. Basically the same tailgate they've always used. All right, back side of the donut. Okay, we got the drawing here. I might have to get in on some of this. Is this the 50-50? Is this the 50-50? We give everything back, not 50-50, baby. What, it's the 100-100? We give the 100 Wow, you hear that, guys? So this is the one you definitely want to come down and get tickets for. Sweet. Embo's going for all, all the, all the dough. He goes, I want all the winners. He goes, I only want. God, these cigars smell so freaking good. Oh, you guys are killing me. God, I'm smelling cohibas and macanudos and man. Oh, God, I miss a good cigar. I gotta get away from them. They smell the cigarettes. I, cigarettes I run from, the cigars I gravitate toward. Yeah, they're like, yeah, I love, I love a good cigar, man. This is awesome. All right, here we come. Here comes that beautiful uh, '72 C10. Very nice truck. There's that 23 page. Hey, Steve. Let's see, we got, oh, Mike Chaffers is here. Hey, look at this crew. Guys, what's hey, up? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, Paulie. It's been a long time. You guys are all smoking cigars. I so need a cigar. I gotta find one. I gotta find me one. This is awesome. Are you freaking kidding me? Happy birthday. You're the man. 
Thank you. I'm gonna, we're going to light up this in a second here. Okay, guys, I'm going off because I just got a wonderful birthday gift. Yay! From Mr. Paul. Happy birthday, Patrick. How's Dominic? How's Connie? Uh, everybody's doing great. Okay. Oh, wow. May just again. No kidding. That's another thing we have in common. So I only made Dean's List once, and that was it. After that, I was, yeah, that's good for him. I did it at Orange Coast College all, all the whole time I was there, but that was easy. <laughs> yep, yep. So we're Aztecs. I love it, man. It's awesome. Thank you. And I'm, I'm going to be back to light this up. I'm coming back. We're going to sit down and have a cigar. I love this. That was so wonderful of him. All right, more of the vets. That was nice of Paul, wasn't it, Rick? I really appreciate that. Oh, we got a sweet Avante here. This was another one of those Chrysler projects with the Italian, um, what do they call them, Car Carcerias? I can't remember the, the correct word for coach builder in Italian. But yeah, that's uh, they worked with a lot of, you know, a lot of the coach builders, um, Bertone, uh, God, Guglianio? Guglianio? I can't remember exactly his name. Oh, that looks like Mike Cullen's. Nope, it's not his Firebird. Here's another one of my very favorite cars that people would never know that is one of my favorite cars. It's a 280 um, SL and the 300s, but these are one of my all-time favorite Mercedes. Uh, this was a bucket list car for me when I was probably 17 years old. I wanted this car more than anything. No, I'm not a fan of the Avante either, but it's uh, it's a nice car, and uh, this one's a particularly nice example. But again, it was you know that was the Chrysler Italian years. You know, Chrysler did a lot of uh, a lot of co-ops. But look at this interior, man! It's really quite beautiful and very very well done. As you can see, it's just really pretty. So I just came back around. So you know, look at the the, the nacelle type of. Um, instrument console very pretty all right here's that uh, here's that SL I was mentioning looks very original maybe a repaint but maybe not can't tell it's very clean uh, yeah it's a 280 SL guessing maybe a 67 one of my all-time favorite cars though and who would have guessed I'm big Porsche and Mercedes guys. I grew up on those cars, VWs, Porsches, and of course all muscle cars. We had, we had both. We had VW, Porsche, Mercedes, and then we also had Chevy, Pontiac, and uh, that was pretty much it. Not, not a whole lot of Fords after my dad took off. So, so we another Ford. Here's this uh, really beautiful Fairlane. That's a '56 Fairlane. He's around quite a bit. And again, another just super clean car. Very exceptional. Beautiful interior. And that is, I never got that, no. I, I got a 420 SCL brand new in the 80s, and that's the closest I ever got to actually owning. I never got close to the SL. The other one that's on my bucket list is a 560 SEC, like an 89. That's another big one for me too. Look at this panel, wow. Another Effie next to it. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick walkout, and then I'm going to come cruise back over to Paul and the boys and hang out with them and have a cigar. Yeah. And uh, it's a heck of a way for your birthday. Here's that beautiful power wagon. I got to switch, switch hands here. Ouch. My arm's getting tired. And there's the motor on this thing. And he's all fully lined and coated on the, on the hood. And if you look down here, you can see all this goodness here on the front end. Just a ton of work. Beautiful wagon. All right, having focus issues again. Let's see if we get this focus back. Yeah, my focus is going funky on me. All right, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to finish up, and uh, we'll talk to you later.